hello guys in this video we are going to learn how to build a line follower robot using a051 microcontroller in proteus so in this project i have used 889c51 microcontroller two ir sensor one lcd l293 d motor driver module and two dc motors and some basic components required for microcontroller a051 microcontroller is the main component of component of the project it is an 8 bit microcontroller with 32 programmable input output pins it has uh, peripheral features like programmable uart two 8 bit timers or counters two interrupts and two sorry one external memory access and etc the dc motors of the robot are connected to the controller using a motor driver ic as the output of the controller is maximum 5 volts with very small current it cannot drive the motors so to amplify the voltage motor driver ic is used this ic is used l293d can drive motors up to 36 volts and can provide current of 600 milliamps the ic has some 15 pins the inputs to the motor driver module are connected to port 0 of pins p0.2 3 4 and 5 so the two IR sensors are connected to port 2 through 0 and 1 pins of the microcontroller. For protein simulation, they have test pins connected. Test pins are connected. Uh, which uh, which when come which when comes to high state, that means the obstacle is detected. LCD is connected through port 1 through their through its data pins then its rs enable net rw pins are connected to port 2 uh, it, it will display like if the obstacle is detecting is been detected or not and then two capacitors of 33 microfarad is used two capacitors of 32 microfarad is used and one crystal oscillator of 11.0592 is used megahertz sorry it is used uh, it they will provide the clock to 8051 then for providing the reset uh, we will use 10 microfarad of capacitor 10k ohm resistor and a push button so this was all about circuit diagram and its connections now uh, before going into the code path i will tell you the logic behind the line follower robot so these two IR sensors they will be attached in front end of robot and these motors will be placed at the bottom of robot and so the motor can able to move or travel the robot will go in forward direction until and unless any of these two sensors detect an obstac obstacle if IR sensor connected to the left side of robot detects an obstacle then the robot will take a right turn if this sensor that means the right this sensor is been connected to the right end right end of the robot if it detects an, uh, any obstacle the robot will take a left turn so if both the sensors have detected the obstacle together then the robot will stop so this was the logic behind the robot now we shall go with the code so this is the code so first of all including the header file that is reg51.h then defining the port p1 where lcd data pins are connected that is p1 port defining the input pins of l293d module which are connected to port 0 these are the four input pins then defining the output pins of IR sensors which are connected to port 2 so these are the left and right IR sensors which which will be connected at front in the front side so defining the enable RS and RW pins which are connected to port 2 then these are the user defined functions except this sorry just a second 
Yes. This is wrong. Yes. It is correct now. So these are the user defined functions. The delay function is used to produce the delay using for loop. Then the CMD function. The CMD function, this is the CMD function is used to set up the LCD. Then L data function is used to write the text to LCD. Then the string function, it is used to write the texts which are especially strings like in alphabetical manner if they have written. So I I this function helps to write the data to LCD. Then coming to coming to forward function, it will help the robot to move in forward direction by making the motors rotate in clockwise direction. Then coming to this function backward function, it will make the robot rotate in backward direction by making the motors rotate in anti-clockwise direction. Then coming to this function left function, it will make the robot move in left direction by making the motor one. This is the motor one. Pins connected to uh, port that is uh, first and second pin input pin to the which is which are connected to the motor driver module. It will make the motor one to rotate, and the another two pins will make the uh, will make the motor two rotate. So the first two motor will ha first two inputs will have the motor one to rotate in clockwise direction and the motor 2 will stop and the right function coming to the right function here the motor 1 will be stopped and the second motor will run will move in uh, clockwise direction then this function stop function is used to stop the robot completely by making the motor stop so now coming to main function LCD setup using these commands so then initially making the IR sensors high if both sensors detect if both the sensors detect uh, an, uh, any obstacle then sorry if both sensors doesn't detect any obstacle then the robot will move in forward direction and the message that is moving forward will be displayed in LCD and the rot and the robot will move in forward direction and else if like if both the uh, ir sensors have detected any obstacle together then the rotor sorry ro robot will stop so stop rotating and that's it and the lcd will print stopping and else if if the right right sensor that is IR sensor if it detects any obstacle then the robot will move in left direction and by and the LCD will print moving left this is the message so and the last one if left sensor detects any obstacle the ro robot will move in right direction and LCD will be print LCD will print this message moving right so that's all with the code now we shall create the hex file one warning is there we can ignore it hex file i guess has been created i have named the hex file as line.hex okay i will import this hex file in 8051 line.hex open ok then we have to see like IR sensor also has the hex file ok then this should also have the same hex file IR sensor yes ok so we should start the simulation now moving forward since both the uh, test pins are not detecting any obstacles so it should be like 
द मोटर शूट रोटेट इन फॉरवर्ड डिरेक्शन बोथ द रोटे बोथ द मोटर्स आर रोटेटिंग इन क्लॉक फर्स्ट डायरेक्शन नाउ दैट मीन्स द रोबोट इज मूविंग इन फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन नाउ इफ आई मेक दिस सेंसर विच इज द लेफ्ट वन सो द एल सी डी शूट प्रिंट मूविंग राइट लेट सी वॉट हैपन्स moving right it is showing and the rot uh, robot is moving in right direction this is stopping and this is moving this is the right motor and i will make it zero and i will make this i that means it should move towards left direction that means it should uh, rotate in up clockwise and it should stop now yes it's you can see its speed is decreasing and its speed is increasing so now making both the sensors detecting like object obstacle is been detected by both the sensors then it should stop stopping you can see it is showing that means both the motors has to be stopped and the speed is also reducing so that's all that's it with the that's how the robot is working with using 8051 thank you so much guys for watching this video thank you